We begin with breaking news today. Longtime Buffalo Bills owner Ralph Wilson has died at the age of 95. Ralph Wilson's cause of death was not revealed today, but Wilson had been in failing health for several years. Good afternoon, I'm Jenny Ryan. And I'm Alexis Arnold, in for Doug. Wilson leaves behind a tremendous legacy, and Mike Catalano joins us now with more on that. Yeah, Alexis, the Buffalo Bills have always been Ralph Wilson's team. He started the franchise in the American Football League. He moved them to the NFL as part of the merger, and he watched them become the only team in the history of the league to go to four straight Super Bowls. Today, Ralph Wilson passed away at the age of 95, and tonight we take a look back at his life as the man who started the Buffalo Bills. Ralph Wilson was a 42-year-old millionaire from Detroit when he joined the Foolish Club in 1960. That was the name given to the eight men who bought expansion teams in the National Football League's newest rival, the AFL. Wilson originally wanted to be in Miami, but that city was taken. So he chose Buffalo and put down $25,000 for the franchise. The Bills under Wilson were quickly a success, winning two AFL championships in the 60s with popular players like quarterback Jack Kemp. But when the AFL and NFL merged in 1970, the Bills faltered. They didn't find success until the 80s when Wilson started spending big money on players like quarterback Jim Kelly. And after paying Kelly millions of dollars to come to Buffalo, Wilson didn't think he could afford much else. And attorneys, they charge $150 an hour. For some reason, we're kind of low on funds right now. <laughs> Kelly eventually paid Wilson back by winning. In 1991, Wilson watched as his Bills crushed the Raiders to win the AFC title and go to Super Bowl 25. I think personally, uh, it's a great privilege to play in the uh, anniversary game. The Bills lost that Super Bowl and three more, but Wilson never lost his desire to try to get the team in Western New York a championship. Players like Thurman Thomas had a connection with their owner who stayed passionate about the game. In 2000, Ralph Wilson moved the team's training camp to St. John Fisher College in Pittsburgh. Then in 2006, after seven seasons out of the playoffs, Wilson went back to the team's glory days and hired former coach Marv Levy to be his general manager. You can nickname us in the football world, the pro football world, the two golden boys. And then in August of 2009, Ralph Wilson was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Late this afternoon, Bill's CEO and President Russ Brandon released a statement saying Wilson had a relentless passion, a deep love for the Bills, the city of Buffalo, the National Football League. He also loved Bills fans and all the people of Western New York who embraced the Buffalo Bills. Now, Russ Brandon has been running this franchise for Wilson for more than a year. Of course, the question now becomes what becomes of the franchise? We'll take a look at that when we talk more at 530. All right. Nice look at his legacy. Yes. Thank you, Mike.